everything you learned in history class was a lie. Well, maybe not everything, but they skipped the best parts. Introducing Stupiracy, where stupidity meets conspiracy. Ever heard of the Olympic marathon that nearly killed its runners? Or the time a pope put another pope's corpse on trial? Join me, Scott Rizzuto, and Tim McKernan as we uncover the most outrageous historical moments and mind-blowing conspiracies you won't believe actually happened. Tune in to Stupiracy for your weekly dose of historical absurdity. Available wherever you get your podcasts. Remember, history is dumb, but laughing at it is smart. I should have captured I that. I'm going to tell you about social distance golfing. Okay. I got something to tell you, too. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I bet he does. Here we go. Here we go. Here we are. I've reached the bleeping stage. All right. Go. I'm with you. I think I was ahead of you. I think <laughs> you were, too. okay. Pat, you were never not there. <laughs> yes. Yes. Social distance golfing. Okay. All right. There's no rakes in the traps. Anybody know why? We call that a touch point. So you can't pick up a rake because somebody else might have touched it. Where are two oh. golf clubs? There's no, uh, there's no water uh, uh, dispensaries. There's no oh, benches. Okay. There's no ball washers. Uh, <laughs> That's for after, right? Do they, right. What do they want you to do Their with own the pin? personal Not, ball washers. They want you to... <laughs> They watch it. Here I am. We're supposed to social distance, but uh, can you please wash my balls? Do they want? Do they? Uh, they want you to putt with the pin in? Yes. Okay. And they and the and the cup, the bottom of the cup has been raised so that you don't reach your hand down to get the ball <laughs> while you're it's getting right your ball washed. While it's right there. This so is it's all a, so perfunctory of. Uh, the, just trying to make it look like we're doing something. Who was that? Lewis Black? Yes, oh, it was yeah. Lewis Black. Lewis Black. <laughs> My own, that's the sign of real wealth. That's My wealth. own personal ball wash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A lot scrub, of guys want a private jet or a yacht, not me. Scrub, scrub, scrub. <laughs> rinsing and scrubbing and rinsing and scrubbing. God, that is such a funny bit. Oh, and you can't touch anybody else's ball. You can't yeah. do that. Oh, okay. no. no. Uh, so it's just. Uh, now, it's... What, when we're on the tee box, you got to let the some guy go up and hit, and then everybody stays away from him. And sure. What do you do on the green? And everybody putts one at a time or what? Yeah, just play ready golf. And if you're farthest mm-hmm. out, just putt while the other two people or three people are getting ready. As wow. a little prankster, uh, what I would do is I would, um, <laughs> in my phone, have an audio of me on a coughing fit. So yeah. during your backswing, <laughs> I would play that audio yeah. just to see where that ball went after you. Perfect help. Perfect help. Oh. Joe, you know what surprised me yesterday when I uh, drove down to the uh, Star Tribune newsroom so I could have it all by myself? Uh, yeah. Safest place in America, big newsroom, the virus... Just think how smart they'd have to be to find a one person in that entire room. But anyway, the farmer's market was open. Yeah. The farmers, I don't know how, so I don't you, know can, how you justify you that. You can buy vegetables, but you can't buy pants. So right. it's uh, at, at Forsum or someplace. No, and you can buy pants. Out. You can buy pants at Target, but you can't buy pants where you want to buy pants. That's, huh? uh, yeah, we, we got to get uh, common sense going here. And, uh, you know, if, if indeed... A, why can't a small clothing store, a small something, be open before one of these these giant mega stores? Because it's easier for them to say, eh, we already got six people in here. Why don't you wait for five minutes until somebody gets out of here? I, I was saying that earlier today. Why why can't some lady with a little clothing boutique yes. be open? They're going to have two people in there. Big deal. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's no. Uh, it's, it's, I've officially reached the point. You know the. End well, point. It's common. You know, I mean, I, mean, I was. Yeah, let's face it. Everybody was throwing darts trying to figure out how to, uh, you know, how to handle this thing and keep it from spreading g- to gargantuan numbers. But uh, you know, there's no consistency in what are they allowing open. I mean, it. I went to Menards yesterday and it was hand to hand combat. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh, you replaced the uh, the air filter. I. You know what? This time I did not even have to take the old one with me to make sure I got the right <laughs> wow, size. That's... I wrote Did you write down, it on your hand? I wrote down 16 times 25 times 3. Yep. Now I saw a lot of times 4s, but finally I found the 3s. And after much cursing, I finally found the 3s. But... And on the flip it's, side of the paper, it said blue paint. Joe. <laughs> Joe. What? You had to wait for somebody to leave to park. 
Isn't that something? As were. You're kidding. But you can't go to Bill's hard, You can't go to Bill's clothing store or a little right. restaurant or something. You can't go to church, for God's sake. Yeah, you can't go to church. And I, as I pointed out last week, I was so bored, I wanted to go to church. Yeah, yeah. I would have gone to church. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, you quit. You better quit threatening your theological destination there with these <laughs> smart-ass remarks. Yes, I am. Okay. I got to, here's my, the whole thing has been driving me crazy. Here we go. Here we go. Saturday, I went out to this little marina in Minnetonka. I probably know it. What's it called? Howard's Point Marina. Yep. Tucked up in the, on the south end of what they call the upper lake. Sure. It's a funky old place. Yep. But the neighborhood is like this blue collar neighborhood. Mostly now there's, they're building some nice houses out and around the back. But most of the houses are just, you know, common folks who live on the lake. Yep. And there's kids driving all over on their bikes, no helmets, you know, having a good old time. And I'm thinking, Joe. Yep. These are lake kids. Yep. These are lake guys. Yep. How did you ever stop being a lake guy? There's something. You see these lake kids <laughs> driving around on their bikes, 8, 9, 10 years old. They don't give a damn about virus school any of the world's problems they're lake kids they just the, go to the lake it's the most charmed upbringing you could ever yes have. yes it's i'm just, thinking of that i'm very i'm i'm sad that i lived in prior lake but not on the lake i didn't right. bring up the kids as lake right. kids they would right. have been great lake kids have you oh, brought yeah. this up with the da planning a move I think it's a little for late for me to become a lake kid <laughs> when i can't screw in a light bulb but right. you know what the old man, I've told you this, when we moved to Prior Lake, he had this bundle of money from selling the funeral business, right? Yep. He had two options. He could have bought the point that had room for like 15 houses, including the one Harmon Killebrew turned out to build. Wow. Right. Or a laundromat. He bought the bleeping laundromat. Oh, no, no, no. no. I would have been a lake kid. Oh, I could have learned to put a motor on a boat and tie yep. a knot yeah I a, a marine knot. <laughs> yes put in a dock i yep. could have learned all that crap done was, stuff with ropes i was 16 it wasn't too late i could have learned oh it's the greatest yeah i know so why why did you not when you were at some point when the kids were young move them back out to the lake well i can answer that i got two letters <laughs> okay. for you cp <laughs> You can answer that, but yes, go ahead. I was offered, the old man, we had lunch one day, yeah. and he's in poor health, mm-hmm. and he's he's giving me right of first refusal. You want to buy the house, the house where I grew up in? Sure. And, uh, Wonderful. Uh, and I thought, well, three things. One, I, I couldn't afford it, and he couldn't afford to give me a deal. Yeah, he had to give you Because a- he was robbing Peter to pay Paul all his life. He didn't have money. Right, wow. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, you too bad that your dad and my dad didn't grow up together. Right. <laughs> Between them, they could have bought two martinis. I'll throw yeah. Bob in. I'll throw my dad in with that group too. He's still robbing Peter to pay Paul. So, so a, I didn't have the money. Yeah. Uh, and but, b, but you could I, have gotten a bank to give it to you. Probably. Yeah. And, and b, uh, I, I thought, you know what? I know myself well enough to know, having been a late kid, that. I'd be hard pressed to get to, to to a Twins game to write a story on a day like this. <laughs> yes, on a day right. like this. Yeah, right. you'd uh, you'd contemplate uh, what it would be like to be in a Twins game. But here's the deal: when I bought this place I'm in in Brunswick, I could have ponied up about another thirty thousand and bought one of those little shacks on Medicine Lake, yeah. which are now you know all mansions, but. You know, why did they do that? Even across, what about, even across what about the hid, road. You know? What about Hidden Lakes? Do you know where that is? Hidden Lake? Yes. In Golden Valley? Yeah, right. Can you have a boat on that lake? I don't think so. I don't know. But see, I grew up on oh. a lake in Fulda, but we weren't like, we didn't even have a boat, you know. And right, it, was, right. it was one of those nice lakes that turned urine green and, uh, you yeah. know, <laughs> like late July. And the <laughs> leeches thrived and in a muddy bottom and the whole Ugh. thing. We went swimming, but... Uh, yeah. You know, I was, but uh, yeah, God, I'm thinking, look at these lake kids. They don't, they're all driving their bikes, chatting, having a good old time. No helmets, none of that crap. No. Lake kids do not wear helmets. Well, plus, when you're a lake kid, <laughs> think of the whole, you gotta, you have automatic social distancing because in front of you, 
there's a lake. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> yes, there is. And by the way, this place, uh, this Howard's Point Marina, yeah, basically has neighborhood kids whose older brother and older sister, or maybe even their parents, the place has been there for a long time, work there. And you just, as long as you work at it, you just inherit a job at the marina. You know, it's a neighborhood, yeah. funky little neighborhood place, and all these families that have five, six kids around there, they all end up, one by one, they ended up growing at the, uh, you know. What is, what is the column? Uh, with a fishing opener and just oh, this, you oh. know, little, uh, next a week. Uh, although I'm a little worried because Billy, the guy who runs it, told me the fishing opener was May second. It's May 9th. We got to shape him up a little bit, but yeah. it'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, you know, hey Joe, this is uh, this is pandemic time. We 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 reach we take whatever we can get, baby. That's true. Mm-hmm. What. Uh, I didn't follow the draft. That might not surprise you. Uh, well, the draft never was followed. the best ever. It was when the I best had to ever. cover it. I didn't follow. It. <laughs> <laughs> you just waited for Bud to come in and tell Somebody you. Somebody tell me who you got, and yeah, I'll write it down. Yeah, Bud came in. He Bud had come in and tell us who he drafted the best yeah. available player. Yeah. Now, uh, now the guy in Green Bay is getting killed because he drafted the best available players. He didn't draft by need. Right. But we drafted 15 guys. Uh, Spielman went absolutely insane because he wanted to get this national attention for having 15 draftees. Of course, the last five, you could have probably signed as undrafted free agents. He right. was, uh, you know, it was just an ego trip by him. And all said and done, 15 draft choices. Riley Reef is still your left tackle. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, he could have traded. Uh, Two, three, uh, a couple of draft choices. Got Trent Williams, a 31-year-old guy from Washington. And, of course, it said Williams uh, didn't want to go to the Vikings. Well, only because his agent found out they weren't going to give him a contract. You know, they weren't going to give him a long-term deal. He would have played here. He wouldn't have. But so they, they didn't have difference makers. They drafted a bunch of guys, and, you know, they'll put them on the bottom of the roster, and Wow. I they do got think a receiver the, from LSU. Right? Yeah, I think he's going to be a good player. Is though. he to replace Stephon Diggs? Yes, they hope yep. so. Yeah, he caught 111 passes last year, but that team did throw 45 times <laughs> a game from Joe Burrow. But yeah, he's yeah, I think he was a good pick. Yeah. And uh, but I mean, you know what I'm, I took away you, from Joe. it though? I what? took away from it that he was loading up on a lot of projects, thinking that there's not going to be a season. That's what I took away from it. Well, that could that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And he also was a guy who was drafting as if he's confident he will be the general manager and he's going to get a three-year contract. And if there's no season, of course, it's going to be interesting because Zim doesn't have a contract. Yep. You know, they're going to give Zim, I suppose they'll give Zim a couple of years and pay him off if they don't like what happens in 2021. But, yeah, who knows if there's going to be a season. That's not a real good sport for social distancing when no, you're playing no. it. No. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, laying on top of the guy drooling on him and calling him filthy names is not, right. uh, you know, that's not social distancing. What about baseball? You think it could happen? Yes. I think we should be playing in two weeks. I was talking, you know. Why don't we have kids baseball play? Why aren't we playing kids baseball? It's amazing to me. I you told know, you earlier off the air, air. I, you know, I've reached the point. Yeah. Don't have a catcher. Right, you know, whatever, right. whatever two you week, want. Two weeks ago, Joe didn't have uh, a day in mind or a, a point in mind, but <laughs> you know, does. today you Tuesday. reached the point. <laughs> today is, yes. he has his date now. <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> April twenty eighth, tomorrow. Yes. I'm with you. I'm, uh, you know, I mean, opening it up is you can open it up by limiting capacities, right? I mean, well, but but what, if Menards can have. Yeah, I don't get it. If Menards can have 250 people in there Sunday. If Target can have 250 people in there Sunday, what, what are we? What, what's the deal? Why, why? Kenny was in a Menards up in Alec and uh, trying to get a paintbrush, and the only brushes left were the twenty, thirty dollar brushes. Uh, that's how much people are going in there and buying stuff to do home projects. Oh yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of guys having the wife tell them to do this and that. Unfortunately for me, that's not a that's not an option, and she realizes that. I right. was very proud that I changed a furnace filter yesterday, and it only took me five or six minutes to figure out the the key being. 
point the thing in the right direction when you push it in there, right? Because right. the, the arrows flow. You got to know which way the airflow is going. <laughs> but uh, is this the thing last year where you had to haul the thing around with I you? I brought it with me. I didn't yeah. quite trust <laughs> no one. Hey, uh, buddy, where do I, I get didn't these? Quite, I didn't get the whole sixteen twenty five three. Uh, you know, the depth. formula, the formula. It's a very complex and formula. And I'm picturing him dragging it through the store <laughs> in a trail of dust. <laughs> right, just following it like pig pen on the Charlie Brown. The only thing sad is when I go to that Menards, now there's no Orville. Oh, Orville, that's right. Orville was working there, and it was the greatest. And uh, Orville, I think Orville saw me bring it in one day, and... Uh, You'll find this hard to believe, but he ridiculed me. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> With an expletive or two or three. No one had could master the S word better than Orville. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know he worked there. He did. He started. Uh, I, I didn't either until I walked in one day, and then I then anytime I needed anything, I'd stop in and say his Orville. That may have been a uh, an attempt to just you know somewhere to go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he needed right. a place to go. I think he wanted somewhere to go. What yeah. a beauty. You had the best thing about Orville. He would see uh, Mr. Hubbard walking down the hall, and he he could have been a U.S. senator. Yeah. <laughs> I no, mean, ambassador the, to England. Yeah, the way, the way, the way, Mar, the way uh, he reacted, but uh, Orville reacted, and five minutes later, yeah. <laughs> 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 what a beauty. Yeah. Well, one of my uh, favorite all time people. You know, you guys were mentioning uh, the coronavirus. I don't know if you caught this, Joe, but uh, our president had a reaction talking about the disinfectant uh, situation. Would you like to hear a minute from our president? Uh, sure. So, a tremendous amount of fake news going, like even higher <laughs> than the normal amount, and it's usually a disgusting amount. Mm-hmm. Kind of a disgrace. And. <laughs> We're setting the record straight, okay? That's why I'm talking directly to the people. So the fake news can't distort it with their cameras and their sort of camera tricks, okay? There's a lot of... I think they're using special effects, to be honest. Have you noticed this? That Like with all the Hollywood people who are very liberal, I think they're using the special effects to kind of do, like, stuff on me. They're called deep fakes. You ever heard the deep fakes? So don't believe what you're hearing from these fake news press conferences. And... I want to clear something up. The light, we love the light, strong, very powerful light, but that's not what I said. And I didn't say to drink, to put in a disinfectant. That's not, nobody would say that. That's bad science, and it's something I certainly would never say. I said diet fresca. <laughs> diet fresca, it's a soda. Maybe some of the young people don't know uh, that. I know my beautiful OAN reporter, probably too young to know that. But. Diet Fresca <laughs> could scare off the virus. You, you, because you ever notice when you have a soda, if you're having, I like Diet Coke, you're having a soda and you, you shake it up, okay? Yeah. Tremendous bubbles, like like, a, like an amazing amount of like bubbles. <laughs> Believe me, you've never seen bubble, like forget a bubble bath. We're talking oh. exploding soda bubbles. <laughs> notice how there's never a virus in the bubbles. Because viruses are very scared. Yep. Of the bubbles, so like yep. di- it's called diet fresca. It's a soda. Uh, We're thinking about that, but no, not disinfectant. That would be very dangerous to do. So I never said that. And what I did say was actually diet fresca. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! Uh, by the way, J. Clorox. L. Some Coffin. of the some of the responses to those Clorox chewables. <laughs> <Yeah. box. laughs> You know what he was doing there, man? He was thinking way outside the box, yeah, wasn't he? he was. He was. <laughs> way outside the box. And, uh, and, and somebody, if it's not Don, you know how many of your disciples could die if they uh, start doing this. And so the next day, it, uh, he was being sarcastic. So Yeah. What a beauty. What's this guy's name again? J-L. Coven, C A U V I N. And he's a, got the Trump podcast, he calls he, it. He calls it the Trump podcast, oh, okay. yes. In he, fact, he he did a couple of interviews with people, mm-hmm. and I don't think they were in on the bit. Oh, and it was really? hysterical. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, okay. it was very funny. The, uh, you know, I've, I've talked to a few about some of the people that the pandemic has been good for this guy it's oh, been good for this yes, guy it has. it's been good it hasn't been good for that many people but it's been good, uh, it's been pat, good pat, for, yes rook rook broke this earlier uh after f- the 47th annual back to the 50s weekend She's that's over, been huh? scratched now wow. that's been scratched i bet that's never been canceled before
there'd be no reason in the last 47 years that the, I could think of. The what? Cape Cod League, Joe, uh, oh, has already so uh, pulled the plug. The College Wood Bat League out on the, the these funky little old golf courses. And I mean, golf courses, ballparks, and uh, first time since 1946 that they will not have played. Really? Yeah. Cape Wonder Cotton. what 46 was. Polio scare, maybe? Well, no, I think they just, no, they just, that's when they started 46 oh, after oh, the oh, war. They oh. came back from the war and they started this college. It was like the original college league, so. Cool. So Not cool. I, uh, the, the wow. uh, Major League Baseball is apparently going to gas their rookie leagues that are not played in their home ballparks in the Florida and Arizona. So uh, Elizabethton, that means the end of the Elizabethton Twins. They might put a wood bat college team in there. But the th- thing Elizabethton loves about having had the Twins since 74 is Puck played there. Guy Eddie played there. Herbeck played there. Half this Twins team that's playing now, Kepler and Eddie and uh, Polanco, and they all played at Elizabethton. And they're very proud of that. So I did a phoner on this uh, for, uh, what, Thursday? Maybe of a Wednesday, Thursday. And uh, so I'm, I find it. Jim Rance, who started it, basically went down there and negotiated the deal in night, the winter of 1973. And he tells, tells me about this uh, mother and daughter who went to every game. And they would bring brownies and cakes and cookies. And he said every time he was there for four games, he gained five pounds because he'd be eating all their stuff. <laughs> He said, what are their names? What are their names? I can't, he couldn't remember. So I called a couple of people down there and I got their names. Gertrude and Paula Bishop. Huh. And Gertrude was mom. Yeah. And Gertrude last, two years ago, was honored on her 100th birthday by the E-Twins. Because she was still going regularly. Last year she didn't go as soon. But I called Paula and I was talking to Paula and I said, so how's mom doing? She said, well. Not bad for 102. She's out planting foul flowers on the porch. Wow. <laughs> wow. So I'm not as impressed with Sid. You think Sid's ever planted flowers on the porch? No. I don't uh, think so. No. So, no. Anyway. Ho- hockey and basketball have to just announce here any moment that, that well, they're done. Well, right? they're both opening up practice facilities, though, right? Didn't the NHL? I didn't hear that. I didn't like either. That. Wow. Yeah, but NBA, if your state allows it you can open up your facilities and start having individual practices so i suppose if you have six baskets you could have six guys out there shooting or something uh but uh but for, I, I for think, what what's the end result i don't think they're giving up i Jeez. think they're gonna try to have playoffs for television and uh you know, I, I think they're you're going to obviously have to shorten them, but I, I don't think they're giving up. Was the rumor of the NHL having like a round robin in four different cities, is that true or was that just a rumor? Uh, St. I don't Paul think, was one I, that was included. I don't think anything's true. I think they're just... They're all know, just throwing just stuff throwing against stuff the wall, see, wall yeah. see if something works yeah. or not. So, But I don't know. It, it, it obviously... So... If you're going to do something in the next month, it's going to be without people in the stands, obviously. So, but baseball, Joe's having trouble because uh, the, the, the they're battling over the 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 union and the agents are saying, well, this agreement that we came up to that you're going to give us 170 million and that voids all the contracts. If we start playing games, we get our full salaries, even if they're without fans. And the, the owners are saying, well, it says right in there, if it's financially feasible. Mm-hmm. And uh, if they just have TV money and if the, they're willing to pay what they're supposed to pay, the TV outlets, they'd only have 40% of their revenues. So they, they, these guys can't expect, you know, to get 100% of their pay prorated over four months if, if they're only if the baseball is only bringing in 40% of its revenues. But so. the owners are contending that they have contractual language yes, that would prevent a, them from paying? In this agreement that they signed a uh, while when the, this thing was just kicking in and they came up, we'll give you $170 million and you can pay people whatever you want out of that. And then we have no other obligations if – you know, if the season isn't played, but now, but the owners and Scott Boris, particularly the agent are saying, not the owners, the, the union and Scott Boris are saying, yes, but it doesn't say anything about 
not paying us in full if we start playing these games on television. And, and as I said, and the owners say, well, we're only going to get 40% of our revenue, so it's not financially feasible. So the language is in there. So this is, this, is, this is very analogous to the St. Paul contract with the trash haulers, where they, uh, the city could have gotten out of it using a force majeure clause, which mm-hmm. meant we don't have to do this. Uh, I can't remember the reason now. I wrote three times about it. I don't even mm-hmm. remember what I wrote. But uh, the owners are saying essentially, look, uh, it's almost an act of God clause that we don't have to pay you your full salaries. Because the revenues aren't there. Who, who the owners of uh, what baseball? Oh yeah, yeah. The baseball. They're saying, well, it's a, it's not a contract. It's not the labor. It's an addendum to the labor contract post pandemic, and uh, and it's you know, and and the argument is over whether that. Uh, if financially feasible, uh, covers the owners from having to pay them their full salaries if they put some games on television. Yeah. Well, back to hockey. The New York Post has said the NHL is seeking cities to host games rather than uh, neutral sites in small locales that do not have the infrastructure to support an endeavor. Uh, Columbus and Carolina would be options for the Metro Division, Tampa Bay and Florida in the Atlantic, Minnesota and perhaps Colorado or Dallas in the Central, and Calgary and Edmonton among those in the Pacific. Would, so they not, would, would not play? Uh, no, those would be the locations where they would oh. have oh. these round-robin games. Mm. How long ago did the Post say that, recently? Uh, this was uh, April 22nd. Uh, the Post told us that uh, Kim Jong-un was dead. They were the first one yeah. to tell us that. What's the word on him? How's he doing? I'm going to go to the drudge right now. Well, they brought in a, a group of Chinese, Chinese doctors, doctors to, work to on see because yeah. they're goofy enough over there that they might think that if they really get good doctors, they can bring him back to life. Yeah, who would yeah. volunteer for that? Uh, well, for that did you work? see how it happened? Yeah, that, that they the, were putting the stint in, and the guy's hands were shaking so bad he screwed up. Do you think he's still with us today? Probably not. I got a hunch that he went the way of the first Kobo victim over there, which was to get shot. I think he had the Albert Brooks flop sweat in broadcast (laughs) news. And especially when they came out and said, Doc, it appears he's going to (laughs) die. Then the sweat really (laughs) came over. I want the sister to get the job, though. She's a babe, man. What, yeah, what? but she's supposed to be a worse tyrant than he oh, is. Oh, I know. She's got that look. I said she yeah. got a look that could phrase, freeze Lake Minnetonka That's what it was, in yeah. July. <laughs> she has got the stare, man, but she's kind of a babe, but she's supposed to be crazy. Well, I think guy. we should be worried about him when Rodman gets on the plane to go over there to say his you know, final I goodbyes. Think, yes. I think uh, – I don't think the sister will let Dennis back. I think the sister's, oh, she's she's only like 30, though, right? I don't yeah. know. She got a hell of a lot better hairdo than he does, I'll tell you that. She, <laughs> doesn't, really have does. that, she doesn't have that, and she doesn't have the chub gene in her either. I, I wonder if she's really a sister. But she's got the Dr. Evil suit on. Oh, oh she does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she does. She, Yeah, she'd uh, yeah, mess around. There's no... no I want, if she told Donald, you to go to Menards, you better go to Menards. You think right? that Donald will go to the state funeral to uh, try to smooth things over with him? God only knows, probably. <laughs> yeah, because he's alternating, have a wonderful relationship with him, and having the guy be the horrible enemy, right? It's, it's mm-hmm. kind of bounced around a little bit. But, wow. uh, yeah, geez, I, I want her to get the – let's face it, you're not going to get – you're not going to get an open-up-the-borders guy to, to – uh, Take over, right? No. So right. you might as well settle for the sister. At least she, you know, be interesting to watch her. Well, How would Patty, you like to be the hubby of the sister? I'd be worried. You better, uh, <clears throat> you know. You know what game he plays every day? <laughs> False. <laughs> False. And he never receives. Nope. He's never accepted the challenge. <laughs> he just, he just. It's flaws, by the way. Or flaws. The game I'm of sorry. flaws. Flaws. But uh, she's never. Uh, Boy, speaking of the game of flaws, <laughs> Joe. I'm hearing you. There was really a search by the opponent this morning. Really? <laughs> the, opponent, really? The, opponent was, the opponent was really reaching to find the flaw today. It was, oh. it was not easy for her because 
hell, I'd only been up and around for 15 minutes, and all I'd done is read the newspaper. It was, it's hard to be losing the game of flaws. The game of flaws. Before, you know, when all you've done is sit in a chair and read the paper. It's, it's hard to get into the flaws. We're still being punished for... Leaving the uh, the, sliding, the door open, the door open, and yeah. we there's been no evidence yet of rodents, but we assume there's a couple in there. And they uh, moved in. <laughs> yeah, they moved in, <laughs> and I, I thought it was the deck one, and uh, it was the downstairs, the 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 one on the on ground level. So she said they didn't even have to come up the steps to get in. And I right. said I tried to make it easy for them, honey. You know, it, I was inviting. Didn't want to make the rats walk up the. Well, step. if you'd gone around and looked in the dark corners with a flashlight, not yet. What? Oh. You know what though? Not you could be having a family. Yes, yeah, so we get some batteries first. If you're watching, if you're downstairs, like sitting there watching TV, and you see a little like at midnight, and you see a little flash. Then you know you got to move out of the house. <laughs> yep. But I love how you dropped in the not yet as if you've had a lot going on. Right. <laughs> well, I haven't searched. No, I don't want to search. What the hell? What if you find one? <laughs> yeah, what do you do if you find one? Yeah. Scream right. like a schoolgirl. <laughs> no, you you got to you got to admit to it and then she then I got to put her in a fancy hotel until we get rid of them. Oh, so my goodness. But, uh, this anyway. non-sports is taking its toll on you, isn't it? Uh, you know what I've discovered, though? Uh, you uh, There's a lot of... There's no layups anymore to write about. You don't mm-hmm. have the layups. So there's, there's a lot of stuff out there. You just got to work a little harder for it to, to find it. Are so. you finding some mana? I'm finding. I got a list. I got seven or eight things on my list. I'm Yeah. If, of course, sometimes they don't answer their phone anymore. And the big, the biggest problem in our business right now is everybody's got cell phones. Nobody's phones are listed. If you're trying to find, you got to find somebody who knows somebody sure. to get the cell phone. You were right, by the way, about Jordan. He wasn't a very likable guy. Mm-hmm. Well, I tried watching that again last night. I, I don't. I'm not finding. I it to turned my on and on. He was giving one of his nothing interviews, and I listened for about three minutes from back then. And I, ah, I don't have to listen to this crap. The Rodman stuff was kind of kind of interesting, but other than that, I the, the first weekend I thought was it was pretty good. It was, last night eh, it was all right. It was okay. Nothing's worth ten hours except World War Two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can do. You can get a World War II documentary last. Well, 10 e- hours. ESPN is analyzing this thing like it's a Super Bowl. Oh God, yes. Yesterday yeah. afternoon on the radio, ES- on our station, we were running. Uh, I think our station, we were running the replays of uh, of Bulls games leading up to the, the you know the TV thing, and I you know I they're they're getting ratings, so I suppose that's all that counts. Yeah. By the way, Joe, before you go. And I can I get I get the sense that we're getting to that point. Uh, did you know. yesterday? They were show that FSN was showing a replay of the '65 All Star Game at Match Day. Oh, really? And it was in black and white. Yep. Grainy black and white. '65 by '65. That game had to be on in color, right? You would think so. They must have gotten a print of some kind that was taken off the color broadcast or something because it was terrible and i can't remember our tv being that bad in the 60s that the, the tv picture being that bad in the 60s hmm. what was the 65 world series in color uh yes because i remember I think so. that i remember seeing some footage of that against the yeah mm-hmm. i think it was when uh, I don't think uh, I don't I don't know I don't think we were into the color TV yet uh, as far as uh, at our place, mm. but uh, I, I I thought the game was in color the '65 All Star Game. So color you, set is not for not me. Not for me. When you changed the channel on that set in '65, how loud was it? You know, because you had to go up there and click. It was, like a, it was chunk. Good. I was thinking this, Rook, though. You know why I'm really happy there wasn't a pandemic like in 1958? Why is that? We had one TV station. Oh man. K-E-L-O, man. <laughs> you got we got at least we got options now. Yeah. We got options. Right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> I can't imagine. All right. Open her up. That's Joe's message for today. Open her up. <laughs> well, why don't you share it with me and don't make me the only guy? I mean, you you've been there before me. Yeah, I've uh <laughs> 
My wife, as the bride said today, you just make excuses to leave. Yeah, that's pretty Bingo. Like, yeah, <laughs> okay, got you me. hit with that one, and no. I don't say that's a flaw, you know. I'm not going out and hugging people and no, look at, looking for it. I've but. adopted the Roycey theory, and I, I like to find interesting ways to get home every day. <laughs> yes. You know. Drive around. I wonder what Castle Rock's up to right now. <laughs> yeah, right. Swing down there and see what's going on. I'm going to the bank on my scooter, Here and I go. plan to take a very circu- circuitous route. Did you have, have, yeah. the, <laughs> have the banks opened the uh, inside yet, or no, we no. still have to do the drive through got to go through the drive through that's is that a stupid? Is that a technologically advanced way to uh, conduct business? Or you prefer in person, Joe? Yeah, this is the first time in my life I've ever used a drive-through. The last well, couple plus times. you got to handle that. They're handling the the tube deal, and you're handling yeah. the tube deal, and yeah. uh, you know it's it's a nest of germs going back and forth there, right? I'll have to bring my disinfectant wipes. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be riding that scooter right. with his big mask on. Going, nah, no, I, 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 I did have. have it on yesterday. I'll tell you why. I went into Caribou to buy coffee. I should have okay. just added that to my coffee grounds uh, order today. But anyway, you can go in to buy the coffee and uh, it, and then to grind it up and let me take it home. And there were people outside drinking coffee. You can yes. buy the coffee, but you can't be in the building to drink yes. it. And I parked the scooter right in front of a young couple that were seated on the mm-hmm. ledge of the building. And I came out, and my mask was still on because I wore mm-hmm. the mask in there. I think I'm wrapping that up, too. Mm-hmm. But I, uh, And the guy <laughs> sneezed. And I thought, oh, oh. Christ, I got to get up. And I yeah, but the it, ma- it doesn't do you any good. Having the mask, if a guy sneezes, is it's supposed to, you're supposed to be helping others, right? I guess. Yeah, anyway, I on the way home, it, it, I think on the way it. home, on the way home, it blew off, and I, I thought, <laughs> oh no! <what?" laughs> I think that. So you were worried it as you rode the motor no, scooter? No, 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 it blew no. off the back. Okay. No, no, no. I kept it on because the of the guy sneezing, and then I kept it on as I began uh, to go back down the, the road, and I. <laughs> reached up to get rid of it and the wind caught it and flew it into somebody's yard. <laughs> Just maybe, you it's, want to see maybe it's next to my wedding ring that I lost yeah. like yeah. 15 years ago. So were you <laughs> carrying the, the tray of coffee for the family in one hand while you were steering the scooter with the other? No, I went to buy the beans. Oh, oh just I the see, beans. I yeah. see. Are they ground yeah. up or were you going to use your pickaxe? Uh, no, we're going to grind them. By I, the way, they ground them. By the way, that curing of ours that the wife had uh, three years ago... She really looks good sitting in that corner. <laughs> she never, never uses it. Used. We're going to put it right next to the Video Plus that we had. That <laughs> never got the Video oh Plus God. that was never used. Yeah, the oh. Keurig is never, uh, never. Uh, I, I stop at Caribou and, or Starbucks and get her a cup of coffee. You want Gabe to come over and pick that thing up for you? Is it working? I, I don't think that's, that is, I was allowed to give away more uh, to, uh, lawnmowers, but I don't think Things I can give away. Things from the shed you're allowed to give away. Because you never know when she's going to get Keurig fever. No, I know when she'll get it. The day after you give it away. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Joe, prior to the show, Patrick and I were um, social distancing, but we were conversing. Uh-huh. And I uh, I said to him, you know what I did during this? I, I replaced a toilet in one hour. Yep. And he looked at me and said, you mean the seat? <laughs> I said, no, I the entire, he said, I had to call someone to replace the seat. Right. <laughs> he was very impressed that I replaced a whole toilet without any uh, plumber's help. Well, I am impressed. I, I wouldn't attempt that. No. God, it's no. easier than you think. I could do a yeah, seat. Yeah, but what though, if Pat? you mess up the connection? Like the when whole, you connect it. <laughs> And every time somebody's using it, that thing's seeping under the floor, and you don't even know it. The wax mold? No. There's a wax mold underneath there that allows no um, escapage. Our guy, by the way, uh, by the way, our guy Ryan got me for a new uh, new uh, water heater. Ooh. The gasket was out, whatever that is. Okay. And that would cost you six hundred, and then uh, this thing would cost twice that. So, ah, give us a new one. What the hell? How she Boy, burned. you're living it up, aren't you? Well, what is the option? You need hot yeah. water, for God's sakes. You That's know? right. Yeah. So, Ryan's my guy. You know. I know, but you know, six hundred as opposed to twelve hundred. I might have gone with the six. Yeah, but then two years from now, you know, now, now I should be good for six, seven years. You were doing water. a long range. Uh, That's right. Yeah, right. Yes. You're thinking big picture. 
Because uh-huh. you never move into the lake. <laughs> Too late. been a lake guy. Too Why late. you're not a lake? Are you still a lake guy, or have you lost your lake skills? Oh, I'm still a lake guy. I just don't have a lake. <laughs> I can't believe I'm thinking of that when I see these kids and I said, Joe, this is how your kids should have been raised, man. I agree. On the lake, in the bike. No helmets. Yeah. No helmets. And you know, your your oldest, the tall one? Yeah. He'd be a fishing guide. He wouldn't be some you know, he wouldn't be working for some big accounting firm. He'd be a fishing guide. Having the time of you his life. You deprived him of that. Having suit. a nice tan right. on that <laughs> lanky six foot six white frame of his, <laughs> where you can see through him. He'd have a tan. He'd be. He out could have there. a little yachting cap. Have, oh yeah. He'd have muscles oh, and stuff. Oh boy, it'd be beautiful, yeah. man. You screwed up. I did. I yeah. did. I gotta go. All right. See you later. <laughs> Goodbye. See you, bro. Leg guy. I want to be a leg guy. It's probably a little late, but. Uh, I, I, what do you think, Rook? The lake. You can't beat being a lake guy, can no, you? No, living on a lake, because uh, my wife lived on White Bear and on Lake Johanna. Oh, man. And the Lake Johanna property was fabulous. That was just, that was the best house ever. Lake Johanna is great, too. Nice little metro lake, man. Oh, Unbelievable. Man. Should have been a lake guy, damn it. Hi, this is Chris Howard, host of Plugged In with Chris Howard. It's crazy to think that a few weeks ago we were talking about whether or not to attack of Aloha should consider retiring. After two concussions and worldwide debates on player safety and NFL culpability, Tua has done nothing but go back to work and currently has the Dolphins riding a three-game win streak and one loss behind the division favorite Buffalo Bills. While everyone was yapping about the end of his career, Tua Tagovailoa said he'll decide when it's time. And clearly, he's not ready to hang up the cleats. Hi, this is Chris Howard from the Plugged In with Chris Howard podcast. BetOnline.net is your number one source for betting football and the start of the new basketball season. Find all the latest player developments, team matchups, news podcasts, and in-depth analysis on every game. BetOnline remains your continued source for all your sports wagering information with live betting up to the minute scores for every the fastest and easiest way to check in on all your favorite games and events, including the MLB playoffs, the start of the NHL season, MMA, boxing, and golf. And if you love sports podcasts, you can find those at BetOnline as well. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to learn more. BetOnline, where the game starts.